as an editorial director for a skateboard magazine, you know, part of my job is to kind of guide where skateboarding goes. There's people out there, skaters, that have these stories, these amazing stories of what they've done and why they're in skateboarding that aren't being told. I think magazines need to kind of get back to covering scenes. The magazines that I like the best, kind of like in the 80s when they would just, they would go to Tulsa, Oklahoma, and they would cover the Tulsa, Oklahoma scene, you know? It might be one pro that went on this trip. Most of it was just local dudes, and I always thought that was rad because you could see how different people are into skateboarding. Today we hit this pool in Modesto and I was super stoked on it. Super good face wall, like not too steep, like pretty mellow so you can blast airs in it. And everyone was killing it. Sean blew it. I just met him a couple days ago and he's a ripper and he can skate at all too. Like super good lines, like in the shallow and the deep. He was blasting like four feet in, the, in a real pool, that's gnarly. Oh my God. I can't even believe I've had the opportunity to ride with these guys. It's uh, pretty much the dream of my life. Never saw myself riding with Kowalski or Lockwood or any of these dudes. One of the biggest privileges I've been given as a skater. Mason is a heavy hitter with the tranny and uh, he's always going for it. Like super good mini ramp skater, got all the blunt tricks and everything. I've hung out with Mason Merlino probably two or three other occasions coming around skating pools. He did a, uh, what is that, saran wrap to backside disaster in the deep end. That was, that was insane. Uh, my name's Mason Merlino. I'm from Roseburg, Oregon. Basically an amateur trying to go pro. I skate contests some, like that are pro contests, but a lot of us are amateurs. It's fun, it's more of a challenge, you know, because you're like, those are the professionals and you're out there, you know, you're trying to, you know, be on the same level as them. Kevin Kowalski, the amount of tricks that dude can do, it's like in the hundreds probably. You know, built his own skate park, totally involved in the skate scene, you know, he's super quiet, like, he's just a rad dude, like, and he's just a skate rat. Kevin's on a whole, like, the gnarliest scale of transition skating and pool skating, man. You watch him skate a pool and he'll do everything first try, just the gnarliest tricks imaginable. Kevin just is too gnarly and makes everything look too easy. Dalton's 540s, man. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. He seems a little bit more like a street skater than some of the other pool skaters. And he'll pop before the coping and get in these awkward positions all tweaked out and then he'll just land it. And it's like, what? These are dudes that are doing stuff in pools that none of the best vert skaters or any of these guys can do. And I'm only saying that in that it's a different kind of skating. Seeing it now that these guys without pads are doing the same kind of stuff dudes are doing on vert ramps. And they're doing it in lines and they're doing it back, you know, wall to wall, which I'm just blown away by how good these guys are. So we've been on like a road trip for like a few weeks now. We're in Auburn at this major skate cover bowl and it's super good. Coping is grinding super good, like challenge super fun, like really fast. Chris Russell's bonelesses are going too fast. When he bails it, it's like the gnarliest thing you've ever seen because full G-forces flailing about, boards flying in the air. And then when he puts it down, it's just like, uh. As a photographer, you know, I like being able to go to different pools and kind of like working with the shape of the pool, how people are riding it, and try to like make photos in pools that show that they're different each time. I actually want to have the pool part of the shot. You know you nailed it years later, like when people bring it up and they're like, that photo of Al Parton you put on the cover, man, that was so sick. I remember, that got me into pool skating. You know, at the time I was just like, I liked it. I wanted to do this. I wanted to be different. You know, that was why I shot that. I wanted to not do the same thing that all the other photographers were doing, which was just shooting handrails. And, you know, so there's this responsibility that like, we got to make these kids kind of like remember something 10 years from now, 20 years from now, that made them get into skateboarding or, or it's some part of their life again that they'll always remember and that's why they're a skateboarder.